Is there truly going to be a black swan? The answer is yes. But I want to give you a totally different lens and totally different perspective. Now, this is just my opinion. There's nothing to fear. Panic is what they want. And this is a cyclic behavior that's happened in human history over and over and over again. What I'm going to share with you is practical things that I'm actually applying in my life. So this is not from some information or parroted information. This is actual tangible things that I've done. So yes, there is going to be a black swan. It happens over and over again in human history. The key factor is to study origin. All we're doing is we're repeating history, his story, parroting doctrine and information that they take us to the same destination. So when you finally realize that sovereignty has always been yours, that the greatest teacher that ever walked this earth, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, was teaching us that everything is backwards, everything is inverted. And he was trying to teach us origin. That's why he spoke in parables. So yes, there's going to be a black swan and the 1% of the population is always going to own 97% of the wealth because there's only three things you can control. Your thoughts, your actions, and your reactions. And then God, the amazing creator, gave you free will. So the reason why I don't panic or freak out when things happen, because I invert everything. I do the opposite of the 99%. So there's a reason why the company is called BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world, study origin. There's a reason why Larry Fink is on the board of trustees for the World Economic Forum, which is to move the mission and purpose forward of the World Economic Forum. BlackRock, the name of the company, the largest asset manager in the world. So let's just play a game for just a moment. Let's, let's play a perspective game. And I'm going to use principles of Jesus and his teachings and things that he said. So if I get anything wrong, I apologize. This is coming from my heart, and I believe the Bible is encoded in our DNA. Just what I feel. So Jesus told us that the devil is the prince of the earth. And in the Bible, it says the devil was cast to earth. So let's just pretend for a moment that this is hell. And if the devil is the prince of the earth, and you can only control three things, your thoughts, your actions, and your reactions, then which one would you focus on? You would focus on my reactions, which creates emotions, which changes my thoughts and forces me to take action. So when you start to invert everything and you go to origin and understand that it's history, his story, that our parents told us to go to school, get a job, get a 401k, build safety, they actually put us in a position that trapped us was based on indoctrination and history and the story that was told to us to enslave us. Now, the beautiful thing about this, why I don't fight any invisible enemies and why I don't fight any invisible enemies, because I have free will. God gave us free will. So Larry Fink from BlackRock, Klaus Schwab, you, President Trump, all these people have free will to think the way they want, to act the way they want, and to react the way that they want. So when I stop fighting an invisible enemy and realize that no savior is coming to save me, that's not what Jesus said. He said, you've already been saved. You're made in the likeness of image and I'm never coming back in the physical. So if everything's backwards, I feel the things we're learning about the story of Jesus might be inverted in order to keep us seeking something outside of ourselves. Because if I can get you to seek something outside of yourself, I can take control of your emotions, your thoughts and your actions. But again, you have free will. So you're fighting an invisible enemy and our parents, our grandparents, and their grandparents repeated consciousness, which is not supposed to happen. God didn't create us to repeat consciousness. He got us to create and to expand consciousness. So if you just for a moment invert everything, and you pull the log out of your eye, and you stop judging other people, you love God with all your heart, and you love humanity as you love God, you treat others as you want to be treated, and invert and reverse everything. Do your finances the opposite of 99%. Be in the world. Don't be of the world. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And know that no matter how dark things get for you, that the prodigal son story, the light is always waiting. And pretend that the devil is just a broken little boy or little girl that needs love, that needs attention, that's having an adult temper tantrum. And what do you do when a child has a temper tantrum? You ignore it. And when you feed that child with love, they eventually break down. They stop resisting. So you're feeding in to the devil's playground. You're feeding in to the fear. Your parents put it into you. Your grandparents put it into them. And you're now putting it into your kids. So if you want to invert everything and live financial freedom, spiritual freedom, be sovereign, stop waiting for a savior. Trump's not coming back to save you. Nobody's coming in the physical to come to save you. Trump isn't going to sit next to you and wake you up in the morning 
and control your thoughts. Trump is not going to take you to the gym and exercise. Trump is not going to monitor your phone if you're watching pornography and excessive video game playing. Trump is not going to raise your kids. He's not going to make your decisions. He's not going to swipe the debit card and tell you what to buy. The 1% will always stay the 1% until you realize that it's you. You're the enemy. You're the darkness. You're the light. And you're created in the likeness of image of a beautiful creator called God. You are nobody else's God. You don't have sovereignty over anybody else other than yourself. So make good decisions today. Think positive thoughts. Control your reactions and your emotions. Spend more time with your family. Build an ecosystem of like-minded individuals that truly, truly embody love. And fucking have fun. Be a fool. And hey, at the same time, get wealthy like the 1% so you can enjoy all the fruits of this beautiful earth. So yes, there will be a black swan. Humans have repeated this cycle over and over and over again until you realize that the cycle is you, you will always live someone else's history, his story. Love you guys. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go. So quick reminder, everybody asked me, hey, JV, how did you do it? How did you get to this consciousness level? <laughs> well, number one, I stopped trying to get rich quick. Number two, I rewired the foundation and ended up in a completely different situation. And number three, I stopped judging you and I love you for who you are. So in the link here in my bio, linked in my bio, there's a free PDF copy, a 16-page book that I wrote that breaks down everything completely free. You don't have to jump through any hoops. Put your email in. It'll be in your inbox in 15 minutes. If it's not in your inbox, check your junk box. Okay, so that's number one, free book. Number two is I have an Index Universal Life Team. I'm a licensed insurance agent. I teach people tax-free retirement, how the wealthy retire, compound, secure, and grow. I have licensed insurance agents in all 50 states teaching you how to free yourself. So it's just a simple conversation. And number three, watch out for scammers. We will never proactively DM you about your portfolio. That is not me in the comments communicating with you. That is not me on WhatsApp or Instagram talking to you. So be very careful. Use discernment. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the other side.